Hello, Kanaga Junior. <laughs> Hello, hero. I like the way you're laughing. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> well Hello, my wonderful and amazing people. Welcome back again. In case you're new here, my name is Rose, and you're watching Rose Martin's blogs. Please do it to subscribe and turn on your post notification so that I get notified anytime I come back to drop a new video. For my returnees, thank you guys for always coming back. I really appreciate all of you you guys are always the best yes guys wow guys welcome to canada section with heroes Daniels. yes so guys in this interview i know most of you may have watched this uh, video so i'll be like i'll be reacting to everything that he said in this video because yeah guys this video is very 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 emotional like I like it was so emotional. This video is deep, guys, because you guys are going to hear a lot of things that you haven't heard here or heard him before, guys. So he said a lot of things about his families, his uh, his life, like when he was growing up, all the things that he has he has achieved, like his struggles and everything, guys. So just watch the video. Relates to what you're saying, you know, those period of those period of incommunicado, yeah. You're always picking your phone and expecting their call. Checking mails and stuff. Checking mails. And even when you pass a particular phase. <laughs> but it looks like the tension gets higher the more stages you pass. Yeah, actually. Because <laughs> like you're getting close, but there's still that even level after of medicals, you're still not safe. You're still not safe. Even after lockdown, you're still, you're still not, not safe. safe. Until you get on the stage, stage. and walk into the house. Yeah. Then you're like, yeah. Guys, at this moment, he was just talking about his struggles, everything that he has uh, went through. And um, yeah, he wrote Daniel, asked him that how do he feel? And he said he is grateful, mm -hmm. like he is grateful because, of course, for someone who has struggled in the streets of Lagos, trying to survive and everything, guys. So he is grateful. And uh, yeah, he wrote Daniel, also asked him that uh, he seems to be prepared for this, like for everything that is happening right now going into the house and everything like he is very very prepared like he's looking at someone who is already prepared for this and he say yes that he is prepared for everything like imagine someone like coming out like seeing some such thing like this who will not be prepared like he is 100 percent prepared especially when um when he was auditioning looking out to see if they will call him like he's already prepared he's, he has already set his mindset or mind that anytime they call him that he is good to go yes that is exactly what he was explaining here in this in this part of the video guys Just so let's get back to before the house let's talk about kanaga jr who, who was kanaga jr tell us a bit about you um kanaga jr before the house kanaga jr was still is um someone who hustled um started acting professionally in 2020 after the lockdown came back to lagos because um, lockdown held me in abia stood to abia for a, for just the weekend for my mom because she there was there was going to be a coronation in the church so i needed to support my mom so we traveled in march to the to the village right and we went thursday friday saturday monday lockdown began i just went with the school bag you know and that was how lockdown held uh, us down there in 2020 was still the year where i was trying to you know jack back because i i really love basketball a lot and i felt like that was the time i really wanted to chase the basketball dream pick pass process this this but lockdown came and i went back to you know One more guys to be sincere eh? <laughs> This lockdown really dealt with some people. This lockdown, you see, that just passed, eh? This lockdown changed some people, some people's career. Yes, guys. I would say Kanaka Junior is very lucky that the lockdown even, like, came as a favor for him. Yes, if not for, like they said, everything that happened, happened for a reason. Yes, guys. So, let us just like appreciate God for everything that happened in his life. Even the lockdown that came came for his favor. Like if not, we wouldn't have seen Kanaga Junior. Even this platform, I think everything happened so that he will be in this in this platform. Maybe Night Jack. Yes, guys. So we really like even me. I'm happy to know Kanaga Junior, guys. 
So he explained that even this audition that he did for this big brother, he was it wasn't easy, guys. He waited, he was checking his meals to see response and everything, guys. So everything was not really easy. I'm telling you guys that good things doesn't come easy, like seriously. So um yeah, he also like the video you guys are about to watch now again, where he was saying that uh, even to some extent, as a hustler, he was teaching, like he was teaching pupils like he was a teacher guys just to survive like seriously this guy have really passed through a lot he was teaching because he's that kind of person that does not like staying in one place guys so he went into teaching and uh, yeah you guys should just watch him you know hustling um acting auditions here and there times where like you go for auditions and you're like number 275 tell me about it <laughs> i know all of those things you know Shortlin mainland most mostly um you know looking for gigs try nine to five um in marketing and sales and you know and i imagine has just been hustling and i still <clears throat> most of the time i did like private lesson as a private lesson teacher so like some kids um just within the neighborhood so i could just leave out leave the house um because if you keep me in a particular seat i won't stay there for long i would want to live there i don't just want to be kept in a box right. so hence while i was um growing i started to open my i started to open myself to different things so that i could see that yes can i get you know you can actually start you can actually put things together you can actually do this and that and still play basketball still go and play my football so yeah i've just been doing a lot mm. like um self-discovery still something i'm still discovering some some other talents up until this even when i got into the house there are things i did i was like oh yeah i actually pulled this off you know so before the house i've been hustling yeah now after the house i'm still going to go back to that and you know just trying to make that name um a brand and create opportunities for people okay Oh, Kalaga Jr. have so much potentials in him and I believe that's why so many people love him because he's that kind of person that's that dream to be like to do things to explore like he he's he's that kind of person that wants to explore very very well and i pray that god always give him what he wants yes guys let god give uh, grant him his his heart desires so guys um why they were still discussing heroes then i asked him about his family this is a moment he, he started talking about his family oh my god this this part was so so emotional and you guys <laughs> i bet you you'll cry after watching this video guys or as you're watching the video like even the interviewer felt it like the team really hit i've never seen heroes done an interview to be this calm and the the uh, the the feeling like he the thing got to him guys he was so like he was feeling it guys and so can i you know explain to him everything that happened how he lost his brother during a pool like the brother was drawn in a pool and guys this story really made me to to now remember that okay you guys remember when kanaga jr was in the bribra house during the jacuzzi party that like that was the pool party guys he never entered the pool guys i'm thinking maybe this is the this is the reason because he just told heroes Danny that his brother died at the course of swimming he died in the pool guys he was drawn like seriously i was so sorry like i was so so sorry for him imagine this kind of small boy like he has really seen things his dad uh, he how he even lost his dad and everything guys or more it's not like if you guys have really experienced such thing you understand what this guy has gone through yes guys so you guys should just watch the video it was so emotional that's good i mean you've not um, done bad at all um i think in the house a lot of people saw your potentials and i'm pretty sure that a lot of opportunities will come your way now that you're out Amen. um tell me a bit about your family um family of of six um four kids on my parents obviously um have i had three bro two brothers i have one now lost my immediate elder brother in 2014 april 20th who was buried on the 24th of april my elder sister uh, was the second child and my eldest brother was the first 
Um, your brother was buried on your birthday. Yeah, April 24th. 2014. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Would you would you like to talk about it? Um, yeah, that's fine. Um so we got a call on the twentieth of April on the morning that was Sunday night, Monday morning, around two there about my mom had a dream and she woke up and we started to pray because in the dream she was trying to save a little baby who was um in the river and in, it was in a basket flowing um in, the, in a very large um water would be in the river or whatever but she was trying to save the baby so she couldn't reach the baby and the water just took the baby and we woke up on monday morning followed my mom because at that time i wasn't even really doing anything okay at that time that was when i was teaching right no at that time i was still in secondary school cool so i followed my mom to um a working place and we got a call from we got a text message from my dad and my dad said he's coming to lagos and my dad at the time was posted to a lorry my dad is a military personnel rest in peace um he told us he was coming back to lagos so we had to my mom had to go to the uh, our workplace sign in then we rushed back so we could make um food for my dad but before we go back my dad was already in the house uh, we started to see family members coming from the eastern part my auntie flew into lagos um family church members were coming to so people started coming to us and it was looking so weird um so because i was literally the last person that saw my brother because in the year 2014 that was the same year i went to represent my secondary school air force comprehensive school we bad on for all Air Force games um i did i played football and i played basketball so uh we were in nandi azikiwe international stadium and my brother was a student of unec um university of nigeria Enugu campus um so he was really close to the stadium every day he comes to like check on me and stuff so they were trying to break this news to my mom obviously they, they did not want me to be in the house at the time um so my auntie sent me on an errand that was not even making sense at the time so she told me to go downstairs to go check for one of my uncle bring him upstairs this guy is parked there i went around and around i can see so getting to the stair the third stairs um that takes you down because military base obviously we have one two three um two-story buildings um so i got to the third stairs and i heard my mom scream so i turned back because i wasn't even going on that errand because i heard my mom scream i turned back ran into the house saw my mom on the floor people gathered um around my mom she started saying your brother your brother. i was like what's wrong my brother i sat on the floor my mom and she told me your brother is dead i was so shocked because i traveled back to lagos i think three days after and that was when my brother died yes yeah, so i think i came to lagos after the games said like he really talked to me like and it made sense after the death because he spoke to me like he it was the last time you know we would have like a conversation together advising me telling me to do this telling me to do that so i was so shocked because i was the last person that saw my brother and 20th of april and we traveled because obviously so very young, it was still very young i think 21 at the time um we had to, there, there was no need to like delay um you know the burial we traveled to the east on half year i'm from abia state on half year local government to be precise so we traveled down to Ohafia. Um, we buried him on the 24th, and 24th is my birthday. April 24th is my birthday. So, yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not even the person in your shoes, but mm -hmm. I can only imagine the level of grief, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, never, it's, never, it's never a joyous thing to lose anyone. No, it's not. It's definitely not. And you said your brother knew. It was as if he knew. Yeah, you know that thing where, like, I don't know when people want to leave they just start talking like ah did he have an existing condition or something that oh uh, no my brother drowned in the pool and saw we lost him i mm. i sincere, i mean it's 2014 but mm. trust me i, I don't a loss is a loss and yeah, loss I, I, don't, loss. I don't know if we ever get over losses to be honest no it's, 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 a, it's a void that almost can never be filled mm. um but you know life is life i guess Hey, you know, life is life. You just have to, you know, keep going. Kanaga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Kanaga, to be honest, yeah. um, there's so much I would like to sort of dig deep into. Mm. Um, but I think we've had quite... <laughs> 
I, I, I generally, I generally, yeah. I generally feel some type of way because mm. you know, um, I personally also have lost you know a cousin, you mm. know, not even an immediate family member, but a cousin, and it was, it was a very devastating yeah. experience. Mm. Um, would you like to talk about any other thing else um, before we wrap this up? To be honest, um, I just think for the longest year before I actually had like counseling and I met a therapist even before like the house and during the while we were in the house i think the only thing i was just constantly questioning myself about whether or not i was able to do enough while my dad was still alive and stuff but i think right now i have actually um grown so much and i've seen that the way i carry myself or this this this, this certain level of confidence that i carry that might seem to be like arrogance is because I have embodied so much pains um, and I've made those pains my strength. And the way I speak, the way I carry myself, the way I move, the way I try to think, um, I think I'm, I'm doing very great as a um, young man who's just 23 years old, 24 in a bit. So I'm actually good and I'm no longer questioning myself whether or not you know I have done a lot. I know wherever my dad is, is definitely proud. And the name is up already, so, so yeah. You have definitely brought the name to life, mm. to limelight, and um, he is definitely proud of you. Yeah. And a lot of people are proud of you, kind of. Mm. Um, all of the things you've embodied, all of the things you've shown. Um, it's not just the talents, it's not just your your emotional intelligence. You know, even for your age, is, is top notch. Your your ability to connect with others, it's, it's amazing. Mm. Um, an entire continent watched you thrive. Mm. You know, and an entire continent was rooting for you. Yeah. And that is not about a change because you know there are people that will constantly support you on this new journey of yours yeah. um, and also i'm glad that you've come to the place of having to appreciate yourself better mm -hmm. uh, i understand the pressure that comes with the society these days and mm -hmm. you know especially for a man you know you feel the need to sort of achieve certain things before a certain age yeah but just remember um, no matter how life becomes this life is a personal race um just do the much you can while you're still on planet earth yeah and just to run your personal race and make as much as many people as possible happy mm. and impact as many lives as possible mm. and just mm. do your bit yeah we only have probably a hundred years if you live well if we all live well yeah on this planet earth so just make the most out of your time honestly and kanaga mm. you definitely 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 stay at the top Amen. Mm. I believe. Thank you for speaking with me. I appreciate it. Thank you for my session. I really had a great time. Anytime. Mm. Don't worry, we don't need to ask you of your official plan. Uh, <laughs> anything you decide to do, if we see film. Yeah, yeah, you guys click or support the market. Business. We, we click. click it. You understand? You say, okay, I want to be selling caps. We we'll click it. We'll buy it. We'll buy it. We we'll it. <laughs> Just let us know what it is. Yeah. Whatever it is. You say, okay, you know what? Whatever. We want to be producing broom that they will use to sweep Lagos. We sell it. Cost someone do. Yeah. Other one yeah. million brooms from yeah. Canada. <laughs> Please support the market. I beg. Anytime. Thank you so Anytime. much. Cheers, man. Wow, you guys have heard this interview. What an interview! Like Heroes Daniel is a very calm person. He knows his job. Look at the kind of encouragement and the kind of um, nice talk that, like, he was so nice to him, guys. And I love everything that Kanaga said. He's a very strong person. Like Kanaga is a very, very strong personality. And he has he has big uh, dream. And I pray that he accomplish all the things that he, he has come to this world to do, guys. And guys, as you all have heard the last uh, the last word from him, support his market. Yes, guys, please. He, he has a brand though, that he's actually doing. So that brand is called TKJ's uh, yeah, brand or so. So you guys should support him. Like you guys should support him and everything that he's doing, support him, guys. Support his market. Yes, guys. So I believe you love this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notification so that you get notified anytime I come back to drop a new video. I will see you all after this one. Bye for now.